there are many approaches on how to design origami yourself, but let me introduce you to four of the ones that I consider most important. Modification, doodling, purposeful folding, and technical folding. Modification. Every artist started out modifying existing designs, and by doing so, learned which creases are crucial and which folds you can change to obtain a different result. Modification is the best starting point of getting creative yourself. To understand an existing crease pattern and to change distances, angles or paper formats really equips you with the best training to create yourself one day. One fun way of creating is by doodling. Doodling is a term used in origami talk, meaning to fold randomly. You can just start folding by chance, but you could also start it from a base. Let's have a short interception and look at the traditional bases that have been invented all over the world, and then start with doodling.
Doodling thus is the process of folding randomly, relaxing your mind and letting your unconsciousness design beyond your imagination. The most common form of designing origami though is probably purposeful folding. First you decide on a subject, you make some rough drawings, if it's a more complex model you should check out more details, then you think in simple geometrical forms, you take a base, or you design your own base, and then you start folding until you like it. So purpose of folding is really all about visualizing a model and finding your way how to fold it. By the way, origamists like to participate in so-called challenges, where every participant is supposed to come up with a design of a given topic in a certain amount of time. What a good way to challenge yourself and to get in touch with an origami community. Last but not least, we have the technical folding approach. This is a purpose for folding on a very high theoretical geometrical basis. You use this approach especially for more complex and realistic models. Let me introduce you now to three basics used in technical designing for origami. So technical design is all about constructing complex models on a geometrical basis. 
There are several very good tutorials on the internet on how to fold complex models using the techniques that I have just shown you. You might also want to check out the different softwares of simulating and constructing complex origami models that are available on the internet. That was a pretty intense summary of information, wasn't it? But believe me, it's as easy and as complicated as it seems. In the end, it's all about your practice and about making your own experience through trial and error. Professional regimas become famous not only because of their elaborate folding ability, special papers and their extraordinary ideas, their uniqueness lies in the personal touch, the joy, the style of his or her personality. The ultimate fascination of an origami artwork is when the artist breathes life into his figures and makes them unique. The secret to create your own origami designs is to start and to enjoy.